One. Pinion in three, two, one. This is Pinion reporting live from Urcha 2012 with some exciting news. I have in front of me the Wren turbine engine that's installed yes. in a T-Rex 700. Yes. yes. Feel the power. Take a look at this. Take a look at it there. Look down. I told you not JC to look talk down. to strangers. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. Now, this gentleman to my left, what is your name, sir? I'm Gary Williams. Gary Williams. This is your helicopter? Yes, sir. Yes, tell us a little bit about it. It looks amazing. It's a T-Rex 700. has yes. a Wren 44. It's got a conversion done through Wren turbines. Stretched to 800 boom. Yes. And that this is our newest bird. Got a 700 DFC head. The Sweet Edge SE blades. Yes, it looks very nice. Now, I saw it fly a while ago. It flies very well. I noticed it's very smooth. It has a lot of power. Yes. Yeah. Now, I did not see the start process. You know, I played with one of these uh, many years ago, and we had to use propane to help get it started. Kind of wean it off the propane, give it the fuel. How does this one start? This one is Karo start. Yes. It's set similar to how you start off propane, but you have a burner that the fuel kerosene is actually injected into and lights off, and then it runs through the same startup process, switches over to uh, your main fuel supply. Looks very good. Now, is this available now? Can a regular guy like Pinion get one of these? Yes, sir. Yes, and I can just put it on my helicopter? There's a conversion kit, I assume? Yes, there is. Excellent. So where would they go to get this kit? Ren Turbines USA. Uh, .com? Yes. Yes, Ren Turbines USA .com. Yes, well, we certainly appreciate you showing us the helicopter. We're looking forward to maybe getting an in-the-pocket flight with it later because it does sound wonderful. It's very smooth in flight. That would be awesome. We're... We're up for it, Pinion. Yes, this is Pinion signing off from Urcha 2012. Yes.